Gray seals are born during the cold months in late December and January. I recently traveled to Sable Island during winter, home to the world's largest breeding gray seal population with about 320,000 coming on shore. When I got back to the mainland, I shared my footage with gray seal expert Dr. Sarah Iverson at Dalhousie University to show her some of my footage and learn more. That's a very late stage pup but he still has the lanugo on it. And they're really scrawny with essentially no fat stores. So how exactly do they survive in the frigid temperatures? Their white fur or lanugo is an effective insulator to get them through that first stage of life. The pups can be found lounging on land at first. They need to build up their blubber stores, which happens very quickly because they're suckling energy dense milk. The female will not budge. She will just stay there with her pup and she produces a milk that's 60% fat. So you think about cow's milk, which is about 4% fat. And the pup consumes about 22,000 calories a day, almost a diet of pure fat. The pup will blow up like a balloon as it gains an enormous layer of blubber over its first 20 days. The female will have lost about 40% of her body weight in the process. The pup will live off its reserves for weeks before losing its lanugo and entering the water to catch its own prey. They don't seem to care about the ice and the snow. They're out there swimming in the cold northwest Atlantic Ocean, you know, all year long. That's really cold. And that's a big heat sink for a mammal. But because of this blubber layer, they're, they're pretty efficient at thermoregulating. Researchers have been putting satellite tags on some of the seals' heads that relay information about the ocean to orbiting satellites. Depth, temperature, salinity, um, even oxygen profiles, and these data are very important to understanding the ocean. We call these animal oceanographers. 